friends! My name is Polly Ritchie. I am the culinary instructor for the Boise Urban Garden School, which is a part of the Parks and Recreation for City of Boise. And I'm also a registered dietitian. And I wanted to come to you today to talk a little bit about the importance of staying healthy while we're going through this stay at home order for COVID-19 and ways that we can utilize those healthy ingredients from our pantries and from our freezers to prepare quick, easy, and delicious meals. So a lot of times what we've got in the back of our pantry, um, maybe in the bottom of our freezer, are some of those really healthy ingredients that we kind of don't know what to do with. So I'm gonna show you how to do a Buddha bowl, which is kind of a fancy word for kind of a catch-all lunch or dinner. And super simple, I use a lot of leftovers in my Buddha bowl. I start with a template of whole grains and I particularly have a ton of whole grains in bulk in my pantry that I buy in bulk. A lot of times I forget to label what they are so they're kind of mystery ingredients. So if I have that, I will just um, cook them like pasta. So I just throw them into a big um, pot of boiling water, cook them until they're soft or a little al dente, and then I drain them just like I would pasta. And usually they come out perfectly. So um, I start with the template of a whole grain. I also use a plant-based protein like a legume, like a lentil or a bean, also something that you can pull from your pantry, dried beans or canned beans. So use a lean protein in place of that or in addition to it as well. And then the third part of my template for my Buddha bowl is um, vegetables. And so you can use whatever vegetable you have on hand. I um, use fresh, you can use frozen, you can use roasted, you can use bar grilled vegetables um, if you've got some prepped up ahead. So for me today, I've got some uh, kale, and collard greens that I went ahead and roasted. I actually still have these in my garden left from last year. They're still delicious. Tons and tons and tons of fiber, um, phytonutrients, um, a lot of antioxidants in these. Just so fantastic for you and as a really good immune system booster. I've also got some cauliflower that I had prepped up ahead the other day. We had the grill on. I threw some cauliflower on there to um, just cook it off a little bit. It's got a really nice smoky yummy flavor to it. Cauliflower is fantastic cruciferous vegetable. Um, it's a really heart health promoting veggie which um, heart disease is one of the underlying risk factors for COVID so we want to make sure that we are doing everything that we can to stay healthy and to prevent not only the COVID infection, but also the underlying risk factors that might make us even sicker if we come down with it. So I've got that. And then for my um, plant-based protein, I have some chickpeas. Fantastic, they are so versatile. These ones you can do straight out of the can if you want. You could do um, black beans if you have those. You could do lentils, also delicious. I roasted these chickpeas with a little bit of seasoning on them. Just put them in my oven for a few minutes with a little olive oil and some seasoning. So I'm gonna add those to my Buddha bowl. And then lastly, one of my unidentified bags of bulk whole grains was farro. And I got that cooked off and ready to go. So um, here's what we do with our Buddha bowl. Together. So I like to start with a really pretty bowl. It adds some visual interest. You eat with your eyes. So heck, why not? So here it is, our finished product, finished Buddha bowl. I can't wait to dig into this. It looks so delicious. I know that chimichurri is really gonna bring everything all together and gonna provide a really punchy topping flavor boost for this um, Buddha bowl. So the Buddha bowl contains tons and tons of 
fiber, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, antioxidants, all of the things that we need to fuel our body and help keep our bodies as healthy as possible and resistant to disease, immune boosting as, as we possibly can during this time. Um, and again, these are all ingredients that you can typically pull from pantry, from refrigerator, from leftovers, and it's just a diff new and different way to present them. So until next time, happy eating and be well, Boise.